It's about time. Been waiting for your call. They caused a hell of a mess in Moscow. Was it worth it? Adler managed to get the list of sleeper agent names, despite himself. He's got balls, I'll give him that. Bell did well. Seemingly. But I think that team is getting too comfortable. They're acting like they know who they're dealing with. Perhaps. Turns out, one of those sleeper agents is tied to Operation Greenlight. Theodore Hastings. He's a nuclear engineer based out of Salt Lake City. And you believe Hastings is the one he'll activate? Exactly. Total surveillance is already underway. It's only a matter of time before he leads us straight to Perseus. Available. Yeah. Hold on. Make it quick. I'm busy. Indeed it did. Our insider delivered in a big way. As for you, the baseline expectation around here is to surpass every expectation. So from the bottom of my ass, welcome to the team. I'm not in the business of discussing my personal views on team members to subordinates. Anything else? Plan A is Agent Azalea. We didn't pick Lazar for his charisma. He's an expert in bomb defusal. If it's live and he can't disarm it, he's still gonna get that nuke out of there. Bring a change of pants. Negative. Even at this size, Perseus could catch our scent on the wind and try to relocate. In this scenario, less is more. It's as good as it's gonna get. The intelligence community has spent years trying to track Perseus to a concrete location. This guy lives between the lines of recorded history. Nothing would put a bigger smile on my face than you personally putting him down. The projector's in the back corner if you need to go over any details from the briefing. I'm back. Go on. fucking serious right now? Don't get him started. Nah, 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 nah. Hold on, let me set the record straight. Here we go. <laughs> so yeah, Castro and I have some history between us. I had the opportunity to off the man, but our intel was flubbed. That's in a tidal wave of shit all the way up to DC. So if I find out that Perseus is in cahoots with Castro, uh -huh. and Hudson happens to find one of my bullets in Fidel's head, well, I say chalk it up to collateral damage. Huh. Kept it under five minutes. I was expecting a diatribe. You can ask that. No, we were after a different spy in case on. Huh, that's right. Our team was right next to Adler's when we touched down in Way City. That's also the first time I had the misfortune of meeting Hudson. <laughs> in all those years, nothing's changed. He still has the personality of a wet fucking blanket. Woods, yeah. <laughs> you hear that? We're fucking legends. Yeah. Wherever we go, we bring the thunder. Man, get the fuck out of here with that shit. You seem pretty unimpressed over in Fake Town, USA. Or are you talking about Mason right now? As I live and breathe. You got a point in saying that? You sound concerned, too. If you're trying to be friendly, this is the dumbest way to go about it. We're just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> he should be concerned. Yeah, well, you just snuck into the KGB with Adler, yeah. packed their database, and got out in one piece. And I'll be going in with my boy here. If I were Perseus, I'd be running for the hills. And I'd be calling in a mortar strike on that hill. Yeah, for Adler, it's a 
culmination of three decades of meticulous tracking. You'll probably be extra pissy on this mission. I advise you to stay focused and drop the nostalgia. Good. Then you're ready. Yep. Later, Bell. Of course it's good. Hastings left Salt Lake City. We tracked his movements all the way to Cuba. We have to assume Perseus moved the nuke there. Langley believes Castro could help Perseus smuggle it into the U.S. in exchange for a peek at the hardware, of course. That isn't gonna happen. What's the plan? The last read we have on Hastings came from 30 miles south of Havana. We suspect Perseus is using an abandoned compound there to hold the nuke. They're working under the radar, so expect moderate security. I say we smash and grab. Parachute in, grab the nuke, skyhook out. And what if the nuke isn't there? It's there. The only reason Perseus needs Hastings in Cuba is to prepare it for arming and detonation. There you have it. Hudson will arrange our exfil while we're en route. If everyone's ready, let's move out. Adler's late. No, love. We're early. Adler should be checking in right about... Park, we're in position. Copy that. We're moving to flank. All teams, we do this fast and loud. Find Hastings, grab the nuke, get the hell out. Woods, light up this joint. About fucking time. Go, go, go! Do the honors, Bill. Contact. Cover my ass! Like fucking clockwork! Cover me! What did these poor bastards do? They finished their job. They love a reward. They've got closed circuit cameras. We can use them to locate the nuclear bomb. Sharp as ever, Park. Spread out. Find that nuke. Quiet all of a sudden. Stay sharp. Contact! Fuck! Is everyone alright? 
Bell sweep the mines. Lovely. This will come in handy. Get on the camera feeds, Bell. Mason, you missed one behind the counter. Thanks, Park. Keep looking. There. Hold it. Adler, we have eyes on the nuclear device. Bloody hell. Someone's killing the scientists. Where? Second floor, room 27B. Second floor, center room. Upstairs, let's Whoa. move! Get your hair, Park. Crude, but effective. Can't keep your eyes off me, huh, Park? Bell, use the C4. Adler, we're moving to the second floor. We're pinned down. Move ahead. We'll catch up. Seven B. Adler, we're heading inside. Lazar, man the door. Got it, Spark. 
Bell canvas the room. Hastings, stop talking. <laughs> Perseus was here. <coughs> he shot us. Escaped. Perseus would never leave his precious nuke behind. He forced us to reverse engineer the detonation codes. They give him full access to green light. What? Are you telling me Perseus can detonate multiple nukes in Europe? I'm so sorry. Hastings, stay with us. How many green light devices can Perseus detonate with those codes? He can detonate all of them. He'll wipe out half of Europe. And blame it all on the USA. We need to find that son of a bitch, Perseus. Time to go. No contact. Chopper coming in low. It's gotta be Perseus. All teams head to the roof. Move, move. And we got a shit ton of reinforcements circling this compound. Reloading. Damn it, doors. Clear. Out of the way. Adler, I got eyes on an HVT. South rooftop. Could be Perseus. He's climbing into a chopper. Take him out! Out the window! Out the window! Out the window! Heading to cover! Go, Bell! Fuck me! The chopper got away! Fuck the chopper! We got bigger problems! This is ground team. Rep Capri, you have visual. Roger that, ground team. We have visual. Fasten your harness, cross your arms, and remember to keep your backs to the wind. Inbound in two minutes. Heads up! Controlled burst is out. We're low on ammo. I think I'm ready for that. Don't tease me, Park. What kind of that horse is you call beer? Fuego de supresión! Proper drunk. Get ready. Here they come. I can see the plane. Park, we need to hook into the line, now! We'll do it in turns. Bell, you harness up first. We'll cover. Go! You go in with the intel you have, not the intel you want. We paid the fucking piper down there. You think this is Bell's fault? I don't know whose fault it is. 
I just know that Perseus doesn't have a single fucking nuke. He's got dozens. Millions of people are gonna die, and the United States will take the blame. You need to find out where he's planning to broadcast the activation signal. How are we gonna pull that out of our ass? Bell knows where it is. Bell? This goddamn science project was a failure! Don't count Adler out yet. The man has a deep bag of tricks. Come on, a little further. Sims, get the gurney. I feel like I owe you. Ah. Bloody hell. Going to lose a lot more than Lazar if we don't execute this next move correctly. We need you to hang in there for one more assignment. I'm counting on you again, Bell. Sims, get the dosages ready. All of them. Adler, stop wasting our valuable time. He's of no use to us anymore. Stay alert, Bell. You're the key to stopping persons. You always have to. No more half-assing it. We're doing an intracerebral injection. Injecting directly into the brain could provoke seizures, or worse. Damn. Do the eye socket. You sure about this, Doc? Memory should begin almost immediately. Bell, listen to me. I need you to remember. Think back to our time in Vietnam one more time. We need to finish what we started. We had a job to do. Think, Bell. Perseus. Do you remember coming face to face with Perseus in Vietnam? EKG is spiking. Shit. Heart rate's off the charts. I need you to relax and focus, Bell. Your helicopter crashed. You made your way through the jungle, alone. You found a bunker. Do you remember the bunker, Bell? We need to know what's inside that bunker. Do not trust Adler. Adler is lying to you. Do not trust him. Do not listen to Adler. He is lying to you. He is lying to you. Do not trust Adler. During a mission to investigate reports of a Soviet bunker, your chopper was hit by ground fire. According to your debrief, you woke up in the middle of a firefight. The crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You ran forward and picked up an M16. Or maybe it was another one.
APC fled into the tree line. It was then you realized you were the sole survivor. You set off to locate the bunker. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. The zip line nearby was the best way back. We wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. Bell, turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Seeing a firefight, you readied your M16. He stirred up a hornet's nest. He's chopping. Roger that. Chopper inbound. ETA two minutes. Yes, this was the bunker entrance you described in the report. Christ, what's happening to him? A mild seizure. Sims, can you hand me the benzodiazepine? The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanting memories. We've got a job to do. Let's up the dosage and run 1B this time. Okay, ready. According to your debrief, you woke up and the rest of your crew was missing. The VC were on the ground searching for survivors. You readied your bow to take them out silently.
tell you weren't killed. Let's go again. You readied your bow to take them out silently. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. The zip line nearby was the best way back. I wanted to get to that bunker as soon as possible. Bell, turn back and use the zip line to reach the bunker. Bell keeps switching scenarios. Now he's running 11. A few allies were pinned down on a ridge. You readied your sniper rifle to assist. Inside the house hit by napalm, you'd find a hidden bunker door. Go check it out, Bell! Right. The bell's in the lab? Administering one cc of adrenaline. That's it, Bell. That's what you were looking for. Perseus was in there. Another dose. We'll keep rerunning scenario one. Bell, we've got a job to do. I wouldn't advise that. I didn't ask. According to your debrief, 
You woke up in the middle of a firefight. Crash survivors were defending against a VC attack. You readied a grenade launcher and charged ahead. The path split near a ruin, so he took the right fork, not the trail to the left. Russian voices from a cave across the river, so you went to investigate. No, Bell. You found the bunker by going into the cave. Why is... Since the scenario is a tunnel, you okay? You pulled out your sidearm and flashlight. Stop lying, Bell. Start again and tell me how you met Perseus. I don't care if the door was fucking stuck. Open it. Park, give Bell another injection. Do it, now! Heart rate is spiking. I'm not sure how much longer Bell can last. Good. Everything's stabilizing. Heart rate is coming down now. Doing in the lab. 
Bell, forget about the damn land. I need to know about the bunker. We're losing Bell. We're completely off script. Bell's been through a lot of trauma, both real and imagined. We've known each other for years. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. Been through the hell of Vietnam together. We've got a job to do. Can Bell survive another round? Now you're asking me. Do it. We're not leaving empty-handed. Script 17. Ready. Bell, we've got a job to do. We've been over this already. Skip ahead to the next one. The bunker door was right there at the ruins, Bell. You went in. Yeah. Bell, go into the bunker now. United States and its allies slowly consume that which is dear to us. Our leaders continue to weaken under this threat. It is the moral duty of Perseus to act when they will not. Soon we will possess an American nuclear bomb. The key to unlocking their entire green light arsenal. Once we control the green light arsenal, we will detonate them all from the safety of Solovetsky. I gotta admit, I'm surprised. I didn't think they'd recover so fast. It's a painful process. That's a small price to pay. The CIA's mind control program has had a great deal of success with implanted memories. You want me to tell them about my time in Vietnam? Lastly, you'll need a command phrase to trigger the implanted memories. We have a job to do. We have a job to do. You had to reach the Soviet bunker. It appears the subject's programming is beginning to take hold. We've got a job to do. We've known each other for years. Fought together, bled together, been through the hell of Vietnam together. We got a job to do. And now the training's complete. We just need to give the subject a name. Bell. <laughs>